So we manufacture confectionery. So we do fudges, toffees, brittles, dessert sauces. At the moment, we've got about 23 different lines, 12 different fudges, a few different toffees, a few different brittles. First off, we have to source the ingredients. We make a batch of the fudge, we pour it all out, wait for it to set, and then we cut it up, we bag it, we package it, and um, it's ready to be sold. The ingredients we buy in, we transform from the raw form into a product that the consumers would enjoy. So we turn raw cane sugar, we turn glucose syrup, we turn palm oil into something that is the consumers want to purchase. That's, I think, our role in the supply chain because before it reaches us, everything is in its raw form near enough. There's a lot of the ingredients like butter, you've got sugar, you've got cream, etc., etc. You know, we transform those from being in their raw state into being a finished product. We sell a lot to independents, so it'll be in the little local spa or the local post office, and it's also nationwide now in the UK and Ireland. You can find it in Marks and Spencers. So a range of stores from the very small to you know some of the biggest. It was Chester Zoo who brought up the subject of sustainable palm oil with us. To be honest, we weren't really aware of the impact of palm oil on the environment or the whole history behind palm oil. Once it was brought to our attention, we worked closely with the zoo to find a solution around it and they suggested to us why don't you start using sustainably sourced palm oil? So we started the process of, of using that in all our products. Thankfully, one of the suppliers we get ingredients from had an alternative to palm oil. We weren't the only people asking for sustainable palm oil around that time. So for us, it was actually fairly simple. We asked our supplier, do you have sustainable palm oil? They did, we purchased it. It was near enough the same price um, yeah, it was a win-win all around, I think. It was important for us to make the change to sustainable palm oil because we want to believe that every, there's quality in everything we do, from the finished product all the way up the supply line, that we're being best practiced the whole way along. And when we found out about the issues surrounding palm oil, well, we knew we had to change what we were doing. We put it on all the packaging, it says sustainable palm oil, but consumers, they need sometimes a bit more to be persuaded that that's true or not. So on request, we do send out all the certificates that prove that we use sustainable palm oil. The subject of sustainable palm oil is massively important to producers because we're the people which transform the ingredients into a finished product. And consumers want to know where we get our ingredients from and what environmental impact that we're having. So I think the move towards sustainable palm oil was driven really by the consumer. You know, we're so busy manufacturing confectionery that sometimes you forget about issues like that. So we were kind of thankful for Chester Zoo for bringing it to our attention. To not use palm oil would just create more problems elsewhere. Palm trees are sustainable, you can get more oil out of them than pretty much any other plant. There's no real alternatives which are better than palm oil, especially if that's is sustainable palm oil. For anybody who wants to make a change um, to start using sustainable palm oil, in my experience, it's easy to, to change. It's easy to source sustainable palm oil. And in my experience, it makes a better product. And I can't see any reason why um, people shouldn't be changing to using sustainable palm oil.